We remember this incident when we were in Sweden. The day he was confirmed with the Nobel Prize for Literature. We were in the hall and he was called to the podium. And the symphony orchestra went on to. I, I couldn't believe it. And all of us, Nigeria, in that hall, we just got. We were so elated when they said, bring him to the stage with only to do, only more, more. It was his creation. And that's why I'm bringing him back to memory of what happened in Sweden on that day. I came in contact with uh, Professor Shoinka 60 years ago. He was. He was charged to court in Ibadan for treason. And he was accused of taking gun to the radio station to stop the broadcast. And patiently he sat throughout the trial just taking note. We thank God at the end of the day, Justice Carl Dear Shaw gave judgment and discharged and acquitted him because we thought he was going to be sentenced or even sentenced to death. So we are happy that 60 years after we still have him alive, he's, he's always been in trouble. He didn't speak about Scar kind of Show, he spoke about Gawan 22, 22 months in jail. He should have started with Carl Show in 1965 when he started the struggle for democratic principle. Because the then federal government had declared a state of emergency in southwest and western region and imposed Akitola. So uh, we thank God that he escaped that incident and called Justice Carl Dear Shaw, discharged and acquitted him. So today I'm happy to be here to testify to a great man of honor. Long may you reign, you will live long. I'm praying. That I will also get to 90. Just like we have uh, Emeka Yoku, who is our senior, uh, 91 going 92. God bless you. I want to thank all the distinguished and eminent personalities that have come from far and near for being here today, particularly at such short notice, as we had to get confirmation from Prof that he will indeed be available in person as he normally disappears on his birthday. I want to thank Baba Oshawa, 
who also celebrated his birthday just on Monday. He was billed to travel that same Monday, but decided to stay to honor our dear prophet. I want to thank Chief Ayonko, who is Prof. Egon by one year. I had Prof. saying my Egon by one year for being here today. We could state his home to him. I want to thank everybody else that have gone out of their way to be here to honor and celebrate this great man. As our own way of immortalizing Prof's name in his home state of Ogo, we will be naming the 5.7 kilometer Cape Town Idioba Road that leads to Prof's home as well after him. It shall now be called Olu Wale Chuyika Road. His Excellency Chief Ebeka Ayoko will be conducting the cutting of the cake. Gentlemen, please, can we move back a bit? Can we move back a bit? We are choking them. Your Excellencies, whatever showing that is uh, not much left to say about him. He, as uh, the Governor, His Excellency Prince Abiodu said is a towering literary figure and I would add to that that Wole Shoinka reached the pinnacle of all major genres of literature many years ago even before it was globally recognized by the award of Nobel Prize in 1986. If I were to speak about him, I would tell some anecdotes to illustrate his unbounded courage and fearlessness. I think I would be right in saying that in 1964, when Boleshu Inka was my house guest in New York, he left New York to go down to the south of the United States to attend a conference organized by USAID, I believe. And when he checked in to his hotel, to start with, seeing a black man in that hotel was something that uh, the white races in that area couldn't take easily. So the chap who checked him in threw the key at, at him at the table and the key fell down. And of course, the chap was absolutely shocked when Wole Shoinka said, pick it up, pick up the key. And he was so shocked that he reached for his telephone and called the police. And the police came in no time. The American police with their revolvers and said, what's the problem here? And I believe Wole said uh, some not too flattering word to describe the man. 
and he threw that key there and he asked him to pick it up. The policeman said, oh, what's your language? And I believe what he said to him, well, you are in a civilized country, so-called. In my part of the world, we still call a spade a spade. And the policeman said to the chap, pick up the key, and the chap picked up the key. So, what a, I don't want to say that it was during that trip that he acquired a gun, but um, that's for another day. <laughs> but he, during the, after the annulment of the elections, and Nadeko was born, I, of course, had publicly condemned the annulment, but I wasn't in a position to publicly identify with the movement that Wale, Wale was leading. I know and remember that during those years, the names that were often mentioned in my house and in my office, Wale Shoinka, Bola Tinubu, I don't remember whether you came to my house, Wale, but Bola Tinubu came to my house a few times. These were Nadeko. And yes, and Akinade, yes, yes, General Akinade. I was able to host them in my house, but could not publicly uh, identify because of my official position. Wole was a true fighter for democracy. And that's what has led him and what leads him to his critiques of oppression and denial of human dignity. He is a champion for democracy, he is a champion for human rights, and he is a champion for human dignity all over the world. So, it gives me great pleasure to have to conduct the curtain of the cake. The you for the sake of all of us here, and I, when I say all of us here, I include myself because I am part of My wife is from Ake, and this November we'll be celebrating 62 years of marriage. So, we have a home here in uh, Abelko. L, U, M, and O. seen a cake like this. Very, it's original. Maybe I'll start eating cake after this. Uh, <laughs> He's taking his picture 
near the cake library, if we can call that. I should watch that. Or is it the library cake? Thank you very much. Literature and the arts, we always avoid the anticlimax because it's coming down from the heights. I wish to thank you. That's the only thing one can say on occasions like this. I wish to thank you. I wish to thank all the artists. I wish to thank the kitchen department. I wish to thank the, those who actually generated the spirit of celebration, which made even me uh, not so, feeling not so tortured as I normally do on occasions like this. So thank you once again, and uh, I promise you that when you come to visit me at the Autonomous Republic of Ijeba, I shall tell the immigration officer to grant you visas without penny. Thank you so much. And, um, well, I have to say thank you. Thank you. We will take the national anthem before Chile and Visa will come and uh, extend states. We will allow Prof to go get to his seat. Can we take the national anthem? 